Ahmad Mustafa has been a police officer for more than 20 years. He's one of the main organizers of the strikes that spread across the country. Police here say they will stop work again if conditions don't improve. They feel they're bearing the brunt of the current political crisis. We are caught between an opposition that wants to bring down the current regime and a regime that wants to preserve itself. We're accused of supporting the regime's crackdown on protests. But the regime believes we are not up to protecting state institutions. We cannot win. In the last few weeks, officers have been refusing orders. It's the largest strike in more than 25 years. They say they're being vilified for doing their jobs. One branch of the Egyptian police is the Central Security Forces, or CSF. It was set up in the late 1960s to crack down on political opposition. Recently, CSF officers have been accused by rights groups of using excessive force, as well as beating and torturing people they arrest. The officers argue they're badly equipped, underpaid, and not trained to deal with the kind of protests and riots they're being sent to. The CSF consists of conscripts who, because of a lack of education and vocational skills, fail to make the army cut. They're usually drawn from the most disadvantaged social backgrounds, humiliated and abused within the force and given menial duties. One of the major calls during Egypt's uprising was reform of the police. Iheb Youssef, himself a former officer, has been working on this for years. A major problem, he says, is a lack of respect and trust between the force and the people. We have an 83 million Egyptian people living and we have around 400,000 uh, police officers and sergeants. This portion cannot do anything unless they're supported with the, with the uh, society. So what we need is to have a new contract or a new agreement between the people and the police uh, set up according to responsibilities, roles and objectives. Parliament is discussing ways to deal with the problem, including outsourcing police duties and giving citizens powers of arrest. Islamic groups say they're considering forming their own protection units. With increasing dissent in the country and the inevitability of more street protests, ensuring the loyalty of the police force will be one of President Morsi's biggest challenges. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.